I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is June 23rd, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up your, uh, how to set up your conf SSH config to make your life easier, and also how to set it up so you can use tab completion. Okay, the SSH config. I love the SSH config. It makes my life a lot simpler and a lot easier for my day-to-day -day work. So where does it reside? So I'm assuming you already have your SSH key set up so you can access, some, access something. Uh, but it resides in sh config. Now normally it's not, if you just start out and you've never fiddled with it, it doesn't exist. You have to create it. But before we create it, what are some problems it solves? It solves a couple of for me. Uh, normally, you may or may not be aware of this, depending on how long you've been around doing Linux, if I try to sh into a box, so I'll try to sh into one right now. When I sh into this box, sometimes you do things like this, or you just have the, the DNS entry. Um, when I do that, I actually are get, I'm actually getting some defaults. So if I go over here and say username, oh wait no, who am I? Sorry, who am I? If I do who am I on this box, I'm called Patman. So when I when I tried to SSH over there, what actually is happening is I'm getting this Patman at. So I get that by default. It takes my who I who am my user local username and applies that. So sometimes you that works just fine because you happen to be Patman on that box. So if I do this, I happen to be Patman on this box too. So I just go in just fine. But what if I wasn't? What if I was actually Patman 2? Patman 2, which of course doesn't work. But if it was, I'd have to enter that in every single time, which can be a little cumbersome when you're trying to log into things. And sometimes I've been at different jobs where I've been handed a laptop or I have my own laptop or like um, even some side jobs I'm doing right now where my username is not Patman. It might be Mr. Bailey or something like that. And so I have to go every single time, you know, do, do Bailey or something to log in. Um, sorry, Bailey at, which becomes a little cumbersome. Well, you can solve that and make your life easy with SH config. Also, um, if you set up tab completion for it, and there's a way you can do that, uh, it makes your life really easy because you can actually list all the boxes and you can do some other really cool things too. So let me actually go here and edit it. So right now in this, I, I, I have one, but I, I moved it because I don't want you to show, I'm not going to show all the stuff I have in there right now, but I'll make a new one. So I'll make a new one and we'll start off just simple. So what we can do is I can come down here and I can say host and I'll say HA proxy. I can give it whatever name I want. And I come down here and I can give it a host name. So I say host name. And this could be a DNS entry if I wanted to, or it can be just an IP address. So it's 99. And then I can actually set up all kinds of features here. I'm only going to go over a few, but the, the default one that I usually use is, is the name. So even though my name is Patman on both, I kind of do it redundantly. It's a habit. Um, and just in case, what happens if I change my name here? Or what if I have a really good config file and I need to move it to another box that I have? You know, let's say I work, I change jobs, they give me a new machine. Um, I can copy things around. So I, it's redundant in this case right now, but it may not be tomorrow, right? So now if I save that off, in this case, we're not going to see any changes. But really what's happening is if I do the HA proxy, well, I, we will see changes because I don't have a DNS entry for HA proxy on my box. So before, if I had tried to act, do, do this, it would not have worked. Uh, but now it'll use that config file and I logged in just fine. In fact, I can show real easily that. So if I go to HA, HA proxy two, which also doesn't exist, it hangs, couldn't resolve. So let me go in here and I can make another one, host HA proxy two, and say, well, I say host name, we'll just use the same thing. Uh, and I'll say user Patman. Uh, but see, here's another thing. Let's say you want to ac access that box to two, two different people at two different times. Uh, so I can say Bailey and I can say underscore Bailey. And now I'm just for convenience sake, you could do convenient things like that. Let me just call this two and leave it Patman. HA proxy two and I'm in. So very convenient for things like that. And that's what I use it for mostly 90% of the time. Now, another thing that I typically do let me go, well, I'll go do this. I also like, I get so much stuff in there that I like to distinguish what's what. So I usually use a program called Figlet or Figlet, Figlet. 
which makes little nice things. So I'll say uh, proxy boxes. And what that does is it outputs this nice big text in here. And so what I typically do is when I make a new section, I'll just do that. So I'll append that to the config file for convenience sake. Let me yeah, let's see. I'll paste it up here. There's probably nicer ways to do this, but I'll do it this way. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, one, two, two, four. See if I can get my regex going here. There we go. Well, should have gone two six, right? Uh, so I like to separate things like that. That uh, usually I do that ahead of time, so I'm not trying to move things. So I'll do a new section. Uh, but anyway, very useful stuff. Other things you can do. Uh, that typically, there's all kinds of little settings you can do in here. But there is. Let's see. All right, forward agent. So one of the things I, I can do is do a forward agent. For, forward agent, which I went over in another video recently. So I can say forward agent, yes. And so what that means, and now if I use HAProxy2, it'll actually forward my SSH keys. So I can go over here and do HAProxy2 and go to line. Oh, didn't like something. Oh. Garbage there. What did I do? Oh, there's some garbage back there. Yeah. All right, there we go. So now I have my keys. So now that I've passed my keys on here, I could, you know, do for examples, I could pull stuff from Git via VSSH because I have my SH keys pushed over here, which is kind of some nice features that you could do automatically. And also, a lot of times I may not want to push my keys, so I have two HA proxies. So I could, I could normally use HA proxy, or I could say HA proxy to with keys, things like that. All kinds of little cool things you can do. Now, the next thing I'll go over real quickly is tab completion, getting that set up so that I can really save myself a lot of time. Okay, so tab completion. This is a big help for me a lot of times. So let's say you're in an environment where you have a hundreds of machines sometimes, thousands of machines sometimes, uh, but they're all named in a nice convention. So here I just made up a convention. So AWS for Amazon Web Services, East Zone, and then Zone 1, uh, and then Machine01.dev, right? Uh, maybe we should say Nginx or something. Nginx 1.dev. And so let me just paste a bunch of these. So let's say we have, let's say 2, we have 1, 2, 1, 2, Zone two, zone two. Let's say we've got something like that, right? Let me say 19 to 22 yank. Make some more. And now these are going to be rather than east, be west or something, right? 27 west dash east to west, right? Boom. Okay, so I've got all these boxes. Let me fill them out a little bit better. So now I've got these boxes and they're filled out just fine. And this will work uh, for convenience sake. Okay, they all have the same IP address, but you know, I'd change it if it was real. So uh, I could sit here and uh, let me just tail that guy out so I can actually get one of them. So I could do SSH, AWS, try to remember all this, AWS, west dash z 2 dash index dash dot zero two dot dev and it works, but you gotta remember all that. Uh, what you can do, and I found this years ago, and it's made myself, it's made me, it's made just so, so much more convenient, is I can actually do tab completion. So you can actually go into, uh, you know, your, your dot profile, your dot bash profile, whatever you actually use to uh, define things. And here is mine. So here is this 
you can add this tab completion. So you have this, you have this complete for, there's a command, not a command, a bash feature called complete, where you can actually add more things for tab completion. So here's what you would add. So this is all on one line. And I should actually put this in the show notes. Hopefully, hopefully it'll come through. Because sometimes you put things in the show notes, like weird commands, and sometimes I don't like that and cut them off. But we'll see. So here we're saying, okay, we're using the defaults, no space. And then what we're doing is we're going to actually grep through um, the sh config file. And we're looking for hosts. We're going to pull all those host names. We're going to cut it and pull that information in. And then, in fact, I'll go run this command in a second just to show you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply that to secure copy, uh, secure FTP, and SSH. So this will work for secure copy. I barely ever do SFTP anymore. But SSH and secure copy all the time. So now that was already there, so it's already actually working. Um, I may need to source it because I, no, no, I changed it. Do I need to source again? Um, but anyway, let me go, let me go run, let me go copy that again. Let me copy this. And run it. Get rid of those. Okay. Just to show you. So that's pulling all my host names out. So I want to add that to a tab completion for those commands. So this is really cool. Uh, so I do an SSH and I think I might need to resource this because yeah, it's not working because I changed that file. So whenever you change that file, you should, I could open a new terminal and it would work. Or I can resource uh, dot bash profile. So I'll source it, let it run, should be good now. So now AWS, Look, it's tab completing. So complete up to that point. So I know I have a bunch and I go, oh yeah, double tap. And I see them all. Oh yeah, I want East. Oh, you know what? What zones do I have? Zone one, zone two. I want zone two, Nginx. And I want the second server. Boom, done. And now I'm in. So I use that all the time because in the last few jobs I've had, you know, I'm not dealing with 10 machines, 20 machines. I'm dealing with hundreds, if not thousands of machines that all have a naming convention. So it's really easy to do. You put all that information in there and then you can get through. And then also, so yeah, so there's tab completion. Just, it works great. Um, so SH config, very valuable. Use it all the time. Without, without tab completion, it's useful. With tab completion, it is awesome. So anyway, that's all I got on tab. That's all I got on SH config and tab completion. Use it. It's awesome. Enough said. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.